right, today we're gonna be uh, doing a little walk around and test drive on this badass, custom built 1971 Nova. Um, from front to back, this car is super cool. Very fast, very fun to drive. <laughs> Just an awesome car. I'm not usually big and high on uh, roll cages, but uh, this car is super comfortable. Like Dalton said, $7,000 was spent on this interior. And you can just tell, I mean, it is an absolutely fantastic muscle car, you guys. Check out that steering column. It's got the Grant wheel. Um, it's got the shaved door handles. It's got a little popper right under there for your foot. You touch it under the rocker with your foot, it pops open. Here's something else really cool I wanna show everybody. So when you shut this car off, so you're sitting behind the wheel, you shut it off, the door automatically opens up. Pretty cool. Yeah, that interior is badass. You know, we're not a huge fan of roll bars, but this one's just wrapped in leather. You know, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It won the best interior at a good guy's show. And, and you can tell why. I mean, it's just neat. But wait till you get behind the wheel on this one. This thing is so cool, guys. Um, if you're looking for a fast muscle car, this little Nova will uh, check all those boxes. When I drove it. Dad was telling me this morning I was real fast and I didn't quite believe him, so he had me drive it this morning, and I came back with a grin from ear to ear. Yeah, it's a so. super fun car, you guys. Power steering, front disc brakes, nice engine compartment. I mean, it ain't over the top. Nice aluminum radiator, electric fans. I mean, serpentine belt system. So it's got all the goodies. It just doesn't have, like, all the glamour as far as on the inner fenders yeah. and stuff. But uh, I think I could make it just a little bit better with that kind of stuff. Go, a little, go that next little level. It's like it's got aluminum heads on it. Cool electric fans that... Pusher. Yeah, so it's got three fans. So if the guy wants to put this thing in a parade, I mean, this is a, what do we call it, kind of a pro street. I mean, it's more of a street, really. But you can definitely take it to the drag strip if you want. But I mean, the guy just built it for uh, for the street. Older restoration, has beautiful paint on it. I um, love the two-tone. Um, up here in the headlights. Definitely. Yeah. Really neat headlight paint. And guys, we priced this car to sell. I mean, wait till you see the price on this thing. This thing's gonna, should fly out the door. Uh, the grill's in excellent shape, the chrome's nice, front bumper's in excellent shape as well. As far as our gaps go... A little wider on this side think, than it is on the other side. Is that a fiberglass hood though? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's so. fiberglass hood. So, yeah, this gap's good really on the uh, passenger side, the other one's just a little wider. Um, it's an older restoration, so there's going to be a few little uh, Mars in it. There's a tiny little uh, spider web right here, just a little tiny crack in that fiberglass. Love the uh, decals on it. It's all airbrushed. Yeah, and they incorporated that purple, which matched that little pitch stripe that runs up and down the side. Dude, this is a this was an absolute drop dead show car probably five years ago. Yeah, and it still is. It's just got a couple little marks on it. American Racing wheels, disc brakes, little tiny paint chip right here. This car came in so clean, we didn't even buff this one out. We didn't really have to touch it. Really nice gaps. A um, couple little paint issues right here. A couple little bubbles right there, guys. The bottom of the uh, front fender. Rockers in fantastic shape. Bottom of the door is perfect. Lower quarters, awesome. Over the wheel well looks good. Three little bubbles right here. You can see that uh, we did have a little uh, if you go to our website, you guys, um, coyoteclassics.com, uh, you will go ahead and uh, see all the undercarriage photos of it. Really solid car underneath. Back bumper has been replaced. That's a full exhaust. I mean, this thing sounds awesome. So we talked about our uh, back bumper being new. Uh, tail light, lenses, trim, chrome's nice. We have a little um, chip right here. But that, well, I thought I that was there for sunset. special effect. Oh, that looked like a little bullet mark. You know, little <laughs> stickers you get? It could be. Um, as far as the trunk leg gap is really nice, huh? You really have to see this car in person. I think it's, I would call it a sunset orange with that silver, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's pretty. Laser straight body, I mean, there's not a ripple or nothing in it. If a guy wants to make it fit just a little better, maybe suck in those, uh, doors just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, suck in the hinge, or not the hinge, I'm sorry, the striker just a little bit. 
but the body is absolutely show quality, laser straight, and it was done. Um, the orange is perfect up in here as well. Um, no dings, no dents. If we look and we want to pick on it just a little bit, you can see, I don't even know what this really even is, but it's got just a little raised thing right here. No crack or nothing. Yeah, Same thing right here, just a little, tiny little paint imperfection. Windshield's perfect on it. Um, to get in the passenger side or to help them out here, um, it's got a little release right there under the dash. To get in the driver's side, again, just like this on that, I'll show you, you take your foot under the rocker, and there's a little button right under there you push. Uh, door jam paint's good. Um, and they did a good job on the door jam paint, but it is not as nice. It ain't like award-winning show quality like the outside was when it was done. But we're pretty big big guys, and we can get in this thing super easy. Yeah, that was one of my things I was worried about the most. You just gotta, you know, it's not as hard as it looks to yeah, get. Yeah, and if, guys, if you don't like the roll bar, Cut it out of there. I mean, literally, it wouldn't take an hour or two. You know what I mean? Yeah, Get it out keep of there. Keep the one back here. Yeah, but I wouldn't mess with it if you, uh, as fast as this car is, I kind of like the fact that there's a roll bar in it. Corners of the door is perfect. Door panels are awesome. Again, $7,000 spent on the interior, and you can see why. Headliner, everything's mint. Carpet, console. Chrome steering column. MTX speakers up front. I like how everything in the interior matches so perfectly as well. You know, as far as colors and materials. The quarter panel over here is awesome. Over the wheel well is great. Lower is perfect. Door, lower fender, everything's excellent here. So the paint imperfections, guys, were just over on that passenger side, those few that I pointed out. Um, our cowl to the top of the fender, top of the hood is awesome. Gaps are good over here. What happened here? All right, so there is some paint imperfections here, guys, on the uh, driver's side door. There's a little crack in the paint right here. Right here. Not sure what happened. A scratch there or something. So here's how we get in this thing. The bottom of our door opens right up. Rubbers are all been replaced. Door panels are awesome. So as we're getting in, super easy to get in. 29,158 miles in the odometer. I thought you were gonna let me drive her today. No way. Um, dash pad's perfect. Top of the dash is all painted the sunset orange as well. So we're just gonna turn the key on here just a little bit. Did you get a shot? Yep. Um, heater fan stuff, I mean, the heater's the last thing this guy wanted to mess with. Same thing with wipers. It's got tilt wheel. See what we got. Starts super easy, tack works, all the gauges work. I'm not sure on the radio. I was trying to figure that out today, how to get that turned on. Yeah, I couldn't get it either. We might have to check on that a little bit. Don't open that. Don't open that. It's not, there's nothing in there. Sometimes, uh, a lot of times, they're just not wired right. Something needs to be hooked up, but we'll check on the radio for you guys. Um, Sounds awesome, 3,500 RPM. Like how it says right there on the thing, this side up. <laughs> kind of like your little big rate car. Yeah. Uh, gas gauge works, speedo works, sack works, all the other gauges work down here. brakes those front power or front disc brakes on this thing stops perfect it's idling about 650 700 rpm this car is so sweet This 
this guy built this car to freaking head down the highway, to rip around in town. I mean, I just got to do it one more time. I know, it's pretty fun. It's, <laughs> it's just so smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Here to come. Front end picks up a little bit, sit back in the seat. Just up to 48, 4,900 RPM, you know? Yeah. Oh man, this car pulls. But here's the thing I want to point out to everybody. So, this car has all the performance in the world, but listen to this thing go down the road at 55, 60 mile an hour. Yeah, it's tight, you know, it just cruises too. 60 mile an hour, we're running 2,500 RPMs with, with three gears. Yeah. So, we got a lot of motor under here, but probably a really decent, maybe a 320, 380, 350 gear, rear end. Lower threes. It's an awesome car. It's just it's a fun car. You can jump in and drive anywhere you want to go. Exactly. Do whatever you want to do with it. Take it on a road trip or spill some tires. And we're, run, some yeah, we're running 190 degrees. We're carrying 30 pounds of oil pressure. Fantastic. Absolutely. Um, like Chad said, this has got a great price on it. Go on the website, check this thing out. I don't think this is going to last very long. 